In this presentation, we will discuss how to print, how to export to Excel, and how to save as a PDF reports in the accounting software. This is going to be very important because obviously as we enter the data into the accounting software, the end result will be the reports. And just displaying the reports, giving the reports to someone in some nice fashion is going to be an important part of the process. Let's zoom into it with zero. Here we are in our demo company dashboard. We're going to be practicing with our favorite two reports, that being the balance sheet report and the income statement report. We're basically kind of imagining here that we're going to take those two reports and we're going to give them to whoever we have to give them to. If we're a bookkeeper, that would be the client. If we are doing a bookkeeping in a firm or something like that, that might be a supervisor or something like that. Point is, whether it be to a client or some other person inside the organization, the presentation of it, the, the kind of formatting of it, it's going to be as important, you know, as the report itself oftentimes. So we want to kind of make it look nice, make it easy to open, make it easy to attach, not have too many attachments and all that kind of stuff. So let's kind of think about the tools we have within QuickBooks to do that. I'm going to look at our major two reports. So we're going to go through the things we have done before many times. We're going to go to the accounting drop down. We're going to go to the balance sheet report. That being one of our favorite uh, reports here. As it opens, I'm still going to right click up top and when it opens and we'll duplicate that tab. So we'll open up the balance sheet, duplicate that tab, then go back to the tab to the left. We're going to be opening up now the other report by going to the accounting drop down, going to the income statement report, our other favorite report, our other major financial statement report. Then go up top and right click on the tab up top and duplicate that tab so we'll have our balance sheet and our income statement and then i'm going to go back to um, the balance sheet let's deal with it first now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this at the end of the day we're going to put it in here into our section folder we're going to save it into the section folder and imagine we're going to then take this and give it to someone else typically electronically that means by email uh, or some other fashion typically by by email so we'll, we'll email it to somebody so there we have it. So now we're going to say here is our balance sheet and it's the balance sheet as of 1231.19. So that looks good. That's fine. And so we have the uh, editing uh, information down below and the report settings up top. We're focusing here, however, on the save as and the export functions. So as we think about this, we're going to want to save it. We could save it directly as a PDF file and think about attaching those. Or we can think about how can we put this into one kind of format. And for that, we're going to be using Excel. So we'll use Excel to see how to put it into Excel. Uh, you can also use Google Sheets for this as well. We can think about that for two ways. Why would we want to use Excel? One, you might want to put it into Excel as kind of your base work that you'll be generating or making another report from. In other words, you might take this report, use the numbers with it to make some to make another kind of report that you would like to use possibly internally. Or you could use Excel as we will show here to take multiple reports and make one PDF file with it that you can then um, then give to somebody with one PDF file instead of two attachments, which can be useful, especially if you have like five attachments or something like that. So a couple of different ways we can do this. So first, let's save it as a PDF file. We can go to the export item down here and we can export it basically as a PDF file. So we can export it as a PDF file. This is kind of the, de even if we were going to print it, this is kind of the default that they have, right? So I, if I'm going to then take this PDF file and put it and just email it to someone, I would then take that, I'm going to put it, I'm going to drag it into the folder that I would be wanting to give to somebody. It's going to look something like this. So I have the PDF file in there. Then I can rename the PDF file. I'm going to right click and rename it. I'm going to be calling it a balance sheet. So we'll call it a balance sheet. Then if I were to open that up, we of course would have our, our PDF file. If we wanted to print it, then we can print it uh, from this format. I'm going to close this back out. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could export it. So I can export this information to Excel or Google Sheets. This is a really useful thing to have. I'm going to be exporting to Excel. If you don't have Excel, then you can do the same process using the Google Sheets. Obviously, Google Sheets would be uh, free, so you could use that. I'm going to drag this over and, and put it into our, our uh, file again this time. And I'm going to rename it. I'm going to right-click and rename it. And this time, I'm going to call it just the financial statements because I'm going to add uh, the the income statement to it as well then if I were to open that up it would look like this right so we have our balance sheet I typically will then go to the second page the page layout tab to see if it all fits on one page it fits on one page that looks good I'm going to go back to the right 
And so there we have all our information in an Excel type format. Now note in this format, again, you could use this format to basically as, as, a, as a starting point to another kind of report, or if I wanted to make graphs or something like that, a graph of my total assets or something like that, I could use this data, I can export it to Excel, and then I can go to the insert function and start making graphs and whatever I wanna do with that data. So that's one of the major kind of components you could use, you know, exporting to Excel feature for. Uh, you can take that as kind of the seed data that you'll use to make other things. Now I'm not gonna close this, I'm gonna just minimize it. And then let's go into our income statement. Let's go into our income statement and we'll do the same kind of process. We've got our income statement for January through December. I could then export it. I can export it uh, to a PDF file, in which case it would open down here as a PDF file. And I can drag that over onto my folder. And then I would rename it over here. So I'd right click on it and I'd rename it. I'm gonna call it an income statement. All right, and then we can open that up. We can open up the old income statement as a PDF. And it would look like that. And then of course we can print it out from here if we if we needed to, to print it from that point. So then I'm gonna close this back out. I'm gonna do the same thing with exporting now. So I can export this as well. I'm gonna export it once again to Excel. If you don't have Excel, once again, you can use the Google Sheets, similar kind of process. I'm gonna take that Excel sheet. I'm gonna drag that into our folder. So I'm gonna take that, drag it in to our folder where we want it to be. I'm then gonna rename, uh, actually, I'm not gonna rename it. I'm gonna open it up from there. And there's our income statement. Now notice I didn't really even have to save it because really I don't want the income statement right here. I want it on one Excel sheet. So I'd like to put this income statement on the other Excel sheet. So here's the other Excel sheet. Here's the other Excel sheet we had with the balance sheet. I wanna add the income statement to the tab to the right. To do that, I'm gonna select this little plus icon, this little plus button. So we'll add that. And then I'm going to double click on this tab to rename it. I'm going to double click right on the name and I'm going to call this income statement. And then I'm going to go back to the tab, the other tab that has the income statement on it. And then I'm going to highlight the entire worksheet. So I'm going to do that. I can do that by selecting this little triangle that highlights everything. Or if I'm not on anything, I can say control A to highlight the entire sheet. Then I can right click on that sheet and copy it and or control C, whatever you want to do. And then over here, you have to be in cell A1, or you could select the entire sheet like this or control A. In other words, you can't be really here because if I try to paste it, watch what happens. If I paste it down here and I say, I want to paste the first one, just normal pasting, it says, hey, I can't do that because you copied an entire Excel sheet that goes out to whatever, you know, a hundred, you know, million cells down. I don't know. I used to know how many cells there were in it, but I don't know anymore, but you can, you don't, can't do that. You have to be up on the first cell if you want to paste the entire sheet that goes out to infinity. So we have to be there and then it'll post it. Now note, it didn't do some of the formatting here, a little bit of the formatting stuff, it didn't do perfect for like in, in, in three, I have to see the cell. It didn't make the whole page white, which I kind of, I'd rather see the grid lines actually. So you, got, you might have to look at it a little bit. You can see the formatting's a little bit different. If I want to make it completely the same, what I'll do is I'll add another tab here. And then I'm going to say, this is going to be the balance sheet. I'll make this, I'll rename this. So it's not the same balance sheet one. And then I'll say, this is going to be the balance sheet. And then I'll go back to the first tab and I'm going to highlight the whole balance sheet. Now, right click and copy. And then I'm going to go to the second tab and put that in a one right click and paste it. So now I have a similar kind of layout between the two reports. So balance sheet, that looks good. Okay, so I won't spend a little, I won't spend too much time formatting it. And then I'll just delete the first one here. And so now I have our numbers and I can see the grid lines and everything, which I would prefer. When you print it, you won't be able to see the, the grid lines. Now, the point is that you have it on one sheet that you could give someone or you can. Now to do this, I'm going to use a PDF printer, which I highly recommend uh, looking into because it's free and it's really useful. I use a, this one called Cute PDF Printer. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I, I've had it for a long time, but I think it's still free here. So you can try, you can search for Cute PDF Printer and you should be able to download it for free. What that'll do is allow you to go through the printing function, but instead of actually printing it, it'll, it'll once you hit print, it won't go to a printer, it'll go to the Cute PDF. 
And that's really helpful for any kind of program that doesn't have like the, the option of saving something as a PDF and you want to just print the screen, but the only option you have is to print it. Then you can, then you can go to the cute PDF. So any screen, if I just wanted to print this screen and there's nowhere to print it and I want to save it as a PDF, I could just right click and say print, but instead of sending it to the printer, I'm going to send it to this cute PDF printer and it'll actually, you know, save this screen as a PDF file, which is nice. So, so there's really useful program to have. Now I can do that here. Then what I'm going to do is with our form here, I'm going to save this as a PDF file with the two documents on it. So I have one PDF file with the two forms and that's could be impressive to give to someone, especially if you have like 10 forms, instead of giving 10 attachments, you can kind of combine them together in this way. And we'll practice doing this as we go through the practice problem. So to do that, you would then go to the file tab. Once you have a cute PDF printer or some kind of PDF printer, we're going to then go to the print option and then we'll choose the printer, not my actually printer, which is this M201 something, something, but the cute PDF printer. That's what I want. The other key is you don't just want the active sheet that it's on because it's only one page right now. You want the entire worksheet, the entire workbook, because it's a workbook with two worksheets in it. It's a workbook with two worksheets. And then, so that has the two, the two items in it. Now this one, the heading's a little, a little off there. So you can mess with the formatting. So I could go back here and, and mess with the formatting of the heading because it, it was doing something kind of funny with the heading here, which I didn't like, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time with the formatting right now. We could do it. We <laughs> you can do that later. So I'm going to go to print and we want the entire workbook. Let's see if that fixed it at all. It's still a little messed up. So we'd set the mess up with that heading. But in any case, the point is you can put them both on, on the one page. You can, you can mess with the style of it, make it a little bit larger here and, and do have some other things to it, but that's formatting. We'll put them on one page. So it's going to the cute PDF printer. So I'm going to go ahead and say print now, and then I'm going to say where I want to put it. So I'm going to select the old drop down and find our folder. I'm going to put mine under uh, zero course data. I'm going to put it in section one. So I'll put it in section one. I'm just going to name it the financial statements. So it's, I'm just going to keep the name. It's a PDF type file. That's the point. We're going to save it there. So once we have that, then I can close these up. I'm going to say, I want to save that, close that up. And then I'm going to close up the income statement. And then we have our data. So how can we give this to somebody else, these two reports to somebody else? Now this demo one, I don't need that. That's the income statement that it's on its own. So I'm going to delete that. So we have the balance sheet. We have the income statement. We could send those as two attachments on one email. Not too bad. There's only two reports. But if we had five reports, it gets a little bit tedious. If you got more than five reports, then, you know, to have 10 attachments on one email is kind of a little bit, a little much. You could put them into a zipped file, right click. I could say new and put them into a file and call it financial statements. And then I can put these two files into it. I can drag the balance sheet in there and I can drag the income statement in there. And then to attach that file, I'd have to zip it. So I can right click on it and then compress it, zip that file. And then I can send this one file on an email, a little bit nicer, a little bit nicer to do. I could send someone just the Excel file, but that's kind of weird unless they want to manipulate it, if, unless they want it for raw data that they can use in some fashion. Uh, but I can use that Excel file to then make the PDF file here, which again, you'd, you'd have to do a little bit of formatting to make it, to make it nice, but it, that could be the most impressive way to give it, especially if you have a lot of reports. Cause then you can say, Hey, here's this one PDF file. Cause remember a lot of times if you're dealing with clients, they may not even open a lot of the, if you're doing reports weekly or monthly, they just, you're just saying, Hey, you're just saying, Hey, here I am. I did the data. Here's the work. Just so you know, I'm still here. What you want to do is present it in a way that's easy for them to see, easy for them to open and handle. If you could do that with one, uh, you know, PDF file that has all the information in it, that could be impressive. Also, if you're able to do it in this fashion, they're probably, and notice again, I have to format down here. So I didn't do some formatting, but anyway, also, if they're able to open it in this way, they're, they're going to think to themselves possibly, how did they do that? Right. I mean, I, they might not know how to do that with the software, uh, without using some kind of PDF tool. To, to manipulate PDF files rather than just using Excel. So it could be impressive on, on those two fronts. So it's a, a, you know, a useful skill to have in your toolbox when you're doing uh, bookkeeping or working basically with any, any database program.